Hello everyone, this is Folktale and we're continuing our exploration of the Desecrated Cathedral. If it's, I think that's how it's called at least. Mausoleum or crypt or whatever. Doesn't really quite matter. We made our way, we fought some zombies over here and uh, just straight ahead. Ooh, there's a lever. Okay. Any more of those? Doesn't seem so. And uh, we also fought some scarabs and that was about it. Well, that wasn't the full video because we also defended an entire three waves of undead invasion finishing with a big ass monster at the end but you're gonna have to see that clip to figure out what what went there there's probably a lot of mobs inside of here this they were sort of there was sort of an ambush these two guys popped up from the ground I guess we're gonna go full straight ahead doors locked okay you mingy stingy whatever thing is you lock the door, Will I can't get to you. Oh, I'm kind of curious what's here as well. Can I move this? There we go. They are up for the take. Are they now? These are undead. Apparently they're doing as you something. Wish. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like this. Am I now? Mm, can I open this door though? I kind of wonder, because we couldn't open it before. Yeah, there we go. Now we have access to the other pathway, I guess. You could call it. Let's see, can we open this Double door? Time. I don't think so. We for sure can't attack these guys, which is quite uh, not okay, if you ask me. Door locked, and there we go. That's Mordrick or whatever his name is. I'm guessing we're not going to be able to open this one either. Can't really say. Look, like the looks of it. Oh, there we go. Actually, can. What in God's name is that, though? It's gonna be a boss fight, more than likely. Quick march! And there we go. Broom? Brom? Whatever. Stop! You must destroy the generator. I think you must the skeleton is trying to communicate with us. Okay. The whole factory relies on its generator. Without it, nothing works. If you destroy it, you destroy the entire withering dead economy. We can't understand you. I did. <laughs> okay. I'm not deaf, you crazy green skin mother. <laughs> the bloody translation spell what must strange be strange noise he makes. What do you think he wants, outsider? Yeah, we're gonna get it. So he doesn't want us to destroy the generator because that's the whole economy behind the undead, uh, I guess, faction. We want to destroy the undead faction, or at least uh, scatter it, so you're in our way. Hopefully you're not that tough. Okay, so let's see the two choices we have. Luckily, I took a year of skeleton <laughs> clacking noise in an, uh, an university. He's trying to tell us not to destroy the generator. Something about creeping the economy. Didn't sound important. <laughs> really? That's not important? He wants us to punch him in his stupid skeleton face and blow up the generator. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first because it's the truth. As basically. long as the generator works, the glade won't be safe. I'm sorry, skeleton person, but we have no choice. Skeleton person, really? Mm, that's not what he said. I guess it's Time not. To rid the world of corruption. It seems he really is uh, upon us. We have another trigger over here which does something. Probably, maybe it stops. Oh, I think it opens the door. So it's actually possible that this was like the only pathway we could take. So we enter through here. This is locked, most likely. We didn't try it, but I'm, I'm guessing it's locked. Only this could have been opened through that trigger. This is locked as well. It probably opens up later on. We can go that way because it's locked. It's probably more trim or whatever the name is there. We're possibly gonna go through here, resolve whatever is this on this side, and then go that way, I suppose. I guess we'll see. Now, we have a fight upon ourselves. We don't know much about this guy. Uh, he doesn't even have that much life, but I have like no clue what resistance he has, and that's sort of problematic overall. We're gonna need to try not to fall into this, because that may be a problem. If this is our like traps, by the looks of them, that's gonna be an instant kill. So let's stop wasting time. Let's root him in place. L she was there, but I got another guy selected. That that was just weird, if you ask me. Let's do some decent damage. Let's do some decent damage with Quicks as well. Let's go back to Sugrigor, because I'm going to try to follow it by stun. There we go. We did some damage. Now stun the guy. He's probably going to be immune, but yeah, you know. Oh, or maybe not. That means Quixel is going to need to hit with this. I don't think this actually works the way it says. 
maybe I'm just picky or I'm not paying attention. That probably with. But it doesn't seem to do that an awful amount of damage, if you ask me. Oh well, what do I know? It should do more damage over here. And there we go, he's about half health now. If he gets out of it, he got out of it, he just punched Quicks in the face like really hard. So we're gonna have to taunt him. Oh, and he's almost dead. Okay, doesn't even quite matter. We pretty much got it. You destroy mortals, don't know what you've done. You deranged mortals. Is it me or maybe welcome, lost this soul. Rest in peace. You guys are actually keeping Mordrake trapped? Because I'm thinking if we destroy the... Um, very little loot if you ask me, but what do I know? What are these? Some weird sort of contraption. I think those are brains. <laughs> brains on the stick. At the ready. So, um, I'm thinking if, um, if actually For they're keeping Mordrake captured, then if we destroy the generator, we may just open the door. What is this? Everbloom. Very rare, apparently. Two of them. Oh, this is the material they were getting from the groove to power their generator. Now, let, I'm kind I'm kind of sure... Okay, more things to destroy. I'm kind of sure this is not going to get open except to if we activate Arm that switch, sins. but well, what do I know? And we got some less goo potion. I have like no clue what this goo potion does. We can craft it, by the way, but I don't really know why. I Let's agree, see. Let's so try no. at least. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! I was actually wrong. We can uh, open door. So we're gonna clear it, then come back and pull that lever. That's probably just going to shut the generator down. Then maybe I don't know. Well, let's on. advance. Oh, this was actually some sort they of a They shall not pass! They shall not pass. What is this? Engine cog. Okay, I guess that's part. Don't tell me we're gonna have to fix this after we destroy it. My destiny it. awaits. Oh, crap. Two of them? Yeah, I guess two of them. Well, why not? Let's try to stun them all. Hopefully that works. Let's attract this guy because he's a problem. My quix is already sort of dead. So let's kill something. Let's try that one. Oh, it actually worked. And now let's try to give some damage on this one. I'm listening. She already used her tools. Okay, we don't have that much life left, I must say. So Sigrigar needs to activate his armor. So should give an AoE. For the glade. Well, he did something, I guess. And Sir Grigor needs to really pound at these guys like in the middle of them so we do split damage. There we go, that's quite nice. Unfortunately, Sir Grigor just died. That means this is gonna be probably a wipe. Don't know for sure, but I'm pretty pretty sure Quixel over here can't really withstand these guys. You don't click on the villagers like this. So what she can do is actually revive. Well, I'm gonna try to keep them at bay of sorts. With Quixel, which he needs to kite like he has never kited before. <laughs> if he ever kited. Okay, they're on her now, but she fortunately she sort of leveled up. Quix over here is gonna need to actually kill this one because she uh, someone he in need of care. can. She needs to run a bit. Move for God's sakes. There we go. Your command. Can't really do much. Quixel should be able to. Uh, withstand this guy. My lord. And I guess we're gonna go with a bit of damage on him. Hopefully the crit's gonna come soon enough. And there it is. And we actually pulled it off. Oh, we survived. Tally -ho. Your orders. I had like no doubts. <laughs> I thought I was a gunner. We got pants. We already have pants. We needed the chest. Much shield, yeah, not that good either. Oh well, it's For something uh, in plus. So it's more than we had before, so I'm not really gonna comment. Too bad you can't really sell this. Yeah, by the way, so even if you have a marketplace, you can only sell the normal goods. Basically, there's no uh, entry for other type of items within the market. Happy to help no those other in need. Uh, armors or um, weapons either. I really hate that you can't really kill these guys. I mean, they're like there, they're undead. So why not? Give me the chance to wipe the floor clean, basically, no? 
Oh, and we just opened this door. Okay. So all that's left now is we need to enter here, but it's probably locked. I don't know for sure. I guess we can Tears try it later on. Honor. Let's set the um, level up on her, on Willow. So she's a um, sort of a mind person. If we're gonna put it in strength, it's not gonna give us anything. We're gonna put it in agility. We don't care. In vitality, this would work, but she doesn't really get that much life, and normally she doesn't have, or she's not supposed to uh, be hit. So we're just gonna go with more damage and uh, faster cast speed. I suppose that's how it works at least. We're about an eight, so not too bad. She is level how much now? Five, just as quicks, and our hero Sigrigar is a seven. Mobs are of level nine now. I don't really know what determines the level of the mobs. I thought it was the level of your heroes, Ready but I'm battles. starting to believe that's actually wrong. I agree for now. I guess we'll see soon enough. Move that. Let's see what it does. Probably open up a door somewhere, or not. That's what it is. Okay. Is that thing gonna fall on us? Apparently not. Um, it's just me where there were like two generators though. Wrong! No! What if you fools done? He was too gentle! He never wanted to harm anyone! You idiots will pay for this for all eternity! Really? Do we need to fight you again? So Braun is actually her husband. Gone back oh uh, guess uh, called back from the dead by her. Hmm, okay. She really hates us now. Unleash the wild. Okay, so Lilith's upon us. She's the alone one by the looks of it, so we don't have that many enemies that converge towards us. Those are other enemies we've seen before. Everything seems to be just about fine. So let's move this him out of the way. Attack there. Sir Grigor can come with a slam on her head. Is there Willow should you move wanted? away just in case. And we don't really care if um, she gets rooted or not, because she is ranged, so as long as she can shoot, we're quite fine. Here we go. Oh wow, Quix is really in a tough spot right now. I guess I can try to give a bit more damage to her, and let's try to stun her if we can. I presume this is not really going to work. Orders received. Here we go. I hope I didn't really walk into an AoE or something. Quixel's gonna need to move away like fast. And she should heal him, by the way. Can I do it like that? We're going to do it like this. He is marked, or I guess, of some sort. Let's try to remove the mark from him. She's stunned, right? It seems like it. Or even this guy is stunned, I think. I don't know for sure, to be honest. So, we'll see in a sec how this works. Yeah, this is down. That's not good. Standing ready! We need to pound her as fast as we can. Pop up your armor. We can't really move away from these guys, unfortunately. They're not at high life, high HP. I'm listening. So I guess we could revive Quicks fast. Maybe that's gonna work. And try. We shall no, actually, engage. pop up your armor first. She came back, and she just done like a huge amount of damage. Time to die. Let's get the loot at least. Wow, nice looking shield. They disappear, so when she's... I think those are like guards only for a temporary time or to something. Pick me up. Crap. We can really heal. Now we have some potions, but they're not that extraordinary. Then they're not with us, are they now? Oh, they are actually. So, how do you do this? Just give one to the guy? No, that doesn't seem to work. You place it over here then? Guess you can drink it like that. There we go. We healed up some. Not much, just a tad, but we healed up, so that's good, I suppose. Can't really do much with the uh, quicks over here. He just he just needs to hit. How may I serve? She's almost ready to heal, and we're gonna go for Sir Gregoire, like it or not. Because she does a ton of damage. 
and he's our main tank and pretty decent DPS as well. Okay, she also needs to remove this mark from him, but she can't. Quicks is almost about to die. I guess he can drink or something, since we have it. And he can do some damage with this. But she missed that there. Missy, can I stun her again? I can stun her again if it catches. There we go, but Quicks I think is dead. Or he will in a sec if he's poisoned. Let's try to do some damage before he falls down. Ooh, decent one. And any heal? No. Any marks I can lift? No. Roots doesn't count. Doesn't matter either. Ooh, nice looking mitts. Mittens! <laughs> oh my god, this is looking very nice. Very, very nice. 20 armor. Uh, let's see, how much do we have like, right now? It's only a 10, so we're even going to increase our armor further. Which is quite awesome. Let's try to bring her down fast before she comes to. So let's throw our E ahead and that is it. Do you realize what you've done? I don't know. What did We've we do? ensured that your greedy boss has no reason to steal the Everbloom. Idiots! What you've actually done is cripple our economy and put hundreds of undead workers out of work! <laughs> it's I'm a dead. pity I won't be there to see Mordric eviscerate you fools. I'm coming, Brom. So we've dealt with Lilith, apparently. That was... For good. Disturbing. Yeah. Well, Outsider, attacked. we've completed our task. We should return to the Tangled Court and tell the Queen of our... Success. success. Okay. We'll do that, I suppose. She doesn't seem to give anything, though. I would have wanted a staff for my... Uh, Ready to serve. Here. Oh, well. Let's equip what we have. So... She gets this. Oh my god, look at that armor. Against two opponents, we block about half the damage, even more than that. So that's kind of awesome. Let's see, I thought I saw something around here. We have already two of these, okay. Not bad at all. Yes, we can do like this as well. Mm. So I guess we're gonna see in a sec. Okay, so we do have a new shield, but it's like weaker than the one we already have. We got some parts for whatever reason. I guess we're gonna keep them for now. I don't see anything uh, more to like equip on my guy. We could really do with the chest and the headpiece, but apparently we're not gonna get them now. We have an armband we could give or pass, pass to someone of our guards, as well as um, the leggings. For two of them. Boots. I don't think we have anything else to equip. I think there was something. Oh, there we go. This is actually what I. Leather boots. Now let's see if uh, they are better than what Quix has. Apparently not. And I must say, this looks more. more there are more to my liking, if you ask me at least. And rest, I'm really not that impressed. We have a lot of stuff, but nothing that would. Um, I don't know, make us change whatever we have equipped already. I'm kind of bummed out that we don't really have much stuff to give um, to Willow. We only gave her like the cap, which we built ourselves, and that was about it. Okay, we're losing daytime over here, so we are on pause. Let's unpause then. There's nothing more to destroy around. Uh, only The only one thing 
I can think about to do around here and not do exactly what the game said, basically to go back to the queen, but to try to open this door in case we can. And if we can't, to try this door, maybe we can reach Mordrek, which I kind of doubt. Probably it's gonna be... door is locked. Hmm. I wonder, is this locked as well? I'm kind of sure it is. Yeah, it's locked, so... I guess the only thing we can actually do is go out now and back to the Queen. There's a lot of travel, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> it would have been much nicer from her, for her, or whatever, to come to us. <laughs> you know, like, wait outside the... Uh, ransacked or whatever cathedral that would have been quite much easier than just to move from one uh, realm to the other but oh well you can't be picky I guess uh, it was quite a fight actually I'm kind of sorry about Brom because he as um, it said she was he wasn't really you I called she wasn't he really he didn't really want to hurt anyone to not even us although he kind of knew he would have to fight us by the end of it Apparently, we have crippled the undead economy right now. A lot of undead workers are gonna go without work. If that makes any sense. They're undead, they're not gonna complain. They don't have to eat, they don't have Poor wages, guys. they don't have uh, syndicates, and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> they're not gonna sue. Where are my guys? There we go. So, even if we select like another hero, Standing Willow's ready. still first. She's quite fast. She is quite fast. I think I was trying to say at some point that I don't really know uh, how the game calculates the level of the mobs. I thought that uh, for a while I thought the mobs are, are always uh, the ones that you didn't see and they just spawned or just they came into view. I thought that. Um, What's over there? Not you, for God's sake. So why does oh, to she's see. First. That's why she could always get selected, I guess. Okay, whatever. Uh, I thought for a second that the mobs are uh, always going to be. Uh, the level Bye. of the highest level of your heroes, if that makes any sense. But it doesn't seem to be so anymore. I think it's um, it depends a bit on the time you actually play. What does that mean? So if you play for an hour, it's quite possible your mobs are going to be level 7 or something like that. Or 2 hours or, or whatever, I'm just giving an example. And um, if you play like uh, 2 hours, they're going to be 9 or maybe more. I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, we were level 7 when we fought level 8, level 9. I don't, I don't, I can't really say I know. And uh, on that matter, on another playthrough, because uh, yeah, I started the evil playthrough, and I'm almost at the point from which I'm going to uh, begin the videos, by the way, the clips. Um, so, uh, most likely when uh, the clip, the clip, clip yeah the video that we already made that um, is presenting the choices or somewhere along that line um, that's about the time we're probably going to release another video the basically folktale the evil version and the good version we're not gonna call them that we're just gonna call it evil and that's gonna be it but yeah, you know, I guess you get it. Now let's see what the queen has to say for herself, because this episode is almost well done. Well done, outsider. Our scouts have reported that Mordric's production has ground to a halt. You and Willow seem to make quite the team. Ooh. Because of this, I have decided that she will go with you to your village to help in future adventures. Ah. What? You didn't even ask me about this? What if I don't want to go? Don't you? You have always wanted adventure outside the glade. This is your chance. Am I wrong? Hmm. <sighs> no. I just wish you'd asked me before offering me like an apple. Aww. Before you two head back to your village, I do have one final request. Although Mordric's business is in shambles, he is still dangerous as long as he remains in this realm. To ensure the safety of both the Glade and your village, I would ask that you send him back to the Plane of Shadows. Ooh. Mordric cannot be slain, but if you destroy the artifact binding him to this realm, we will be able to properly banish him. Our spies have discovered that he keeps this object, the Soul Phylactery, in his office. Fight your way to the soul phylactery, destroy it, and banish Mordric for good. Phylactery? I heard that name before, not the game. I even know which game, because I really liked it. It's an older game. Phylactery is, uh, at least in that game, and I'm kind of figuring that's the same thing here, are supposed How to be exciting. objects that are imbued in some way once. with the soul of... Um, I guess the detainer or 
or something like that. Uh, and the game I'm thinking of, it was a bit different. It was just a vial of blood, but with it, magic could be performed and um, you could find... And I even think hurt. No, just find the owner of that blood anywhere in the world. This seems to be a bit different. Uh, the soul seems to be imbibed. Or something like that within the the phylactery, right? but that is duty. the artifact. Okay, heroes need to go back apparently Onward. to the monastery again. This is a bit uh, annoying, actually, to be honest. But I guess if you have more town development in the in the in the meantime, you could really pull it through. Unfortunately, we don't really quite have the uh, the necessary time to go for Mordrek. So basically, this is going to happen next video, as I'm understanding over here. Do I have two heroes here? There's like one inside the other. Yeah, that's how it is. They seem to like, uh, I don't know, bunching up together apparently. Oh well, doesn't matter. So yeah, we're gonna finish over here. We're gonna continue next episode. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give the big like and see more. Subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys and gals around.